Hi, this is Sandro and another quick video from the beautiful Umbria in Italy. Um, now, I'm going to share a rather interesting one today. I know this is something you will have thought about many times before, but if you've ever been confronted with any kind of change, taking on a new member of staff, maybe trying to increase the potential value of each client, breaking into a new marketplace, or even getting yourself up at 6, 7 a.m. in the morning to go to the gym, all the things that we find quite challenging. Now, there is a reason why we find change really difficult, and it's something I refer to as the pain equation. What I'm going to try and do here is reverse engineer this process to help you understand that change can be taken on as something is very, very positive, and we can use that, that instinctive negative feeling around change, that, that pain, to inspire us to move and transition to a different part of our lives or businesses. And it's something I refer to as the pain equation. Now, the reality is that when we want to grow, which I guess everybody does, although probably wouldn't be watching these videos, if we want to grow, then we associate growth with some kind of change. We have to move from one place to another, do things a slightly different way. The problem is when we change things, by definition, we have to leave something behind. We refer to that as loss. And when we lose something in our minds, we associate that with pain. So when we're looking at change, we tend to then feel that we have to move to a different uh, place. So there is an association of growth that comes with change. When we change, we leave something behind because we have to transition to a new position, a new place in life or business. And once we leave something behind, we lose something, we suffer pain. And that is the reason why we don't like to change, why we find it challenging. However, we've all heard that expression, growth pains or words that affect. The simple reality is in order to grow, we have to suffer pain. And if we are really smart about growth and we do it incrementally, we uh, use a lot of discipline. We repeat the process over and over again, rather than just periodically try to do things, hoping it's going to make a remarkable difference, which it very rarely does. Small bite-sized chunks, one step in, and one foot in front of another, transitioning from one place slowly, but recognising consciously that in order to grow, we have to suffer pain. However, we can control that pain. We can extend it over a period of time. We can become consciously aware of it. And therefore, it doesn't feel quite so difficult, quite so challenging as it would otherwise do if we just kind of dipped our toe in the water. So next time you're thinking about transitioning, next time you think about changing, remember that the pain that instinctively you feel around that process of change is going to lead to a really positive outcome. As long as you're consciously aware of the, the, the various parts of the process, you will find it much more difficult to achieve the kind of results that you want to achieve for yourself.